Hello and welcome back. So in today's video we are going to go to the lab 32 that is using event viewer. If you want to follow along on your machine here are the instructions. And here are the rest of them. All right, so the machine is up. Let's get started. We're gonna, <clears throat> on the taskbar, click search and type event. So that is the search. We can do that or event, wherever you want. We're gonna click on event viewer, <coughs> Windows logs and application security setup and system. We can maximize it, Windows logs application and you can see it populates information so it says custom views right here so this is important it's saying <clears throat> Windows events logs are records of events that have occurred on a computer running the Windows operating system. So, event viewer it logs everything. You log in, or you have a log in fail attempt. Maybe you were typing your password wrong. You were the caps lock was on. So it will logs it will log everything. <clears throat> Install the program. There was an error. Anything. Now, if you want, you can go and, for example, in security, I believe there is there was there is a yeah. You can see it's log off and log on four six two four. So you can, if you were to go and search for four six two four, there's a search function somewhere that basically filter or two six four, I believe. I can't type anything in here interesting okay I can't show you in this machine probably it's <clears throat> so uh, it's disabled per se oh you can do that uh, let's try this current log uh, click here no nope. keywords here or let's let's do it in keyword no it's not doing it okay we can do it so let's follow along it wants us to click on custom views and click create view we're gonna go there and right click and create custom view So we're gonna this is the information that we need to put it in so security by event log we're gonna select Windows log and security and what is forwarded events uh, this one okay nope good Save file for custom views. UC underscore views. <clears throat> yes. Capital C underscore view. And click OK. And basically, this step is just for evaluation. Export custom view. Oh, that was for the 
that as well. Okay, now I think this part is for the again it's not a classic u certify thing not explaining everything but what we did is we have created an ex custom view so we don't have to come and filter all the time we'll simply click on that and it should populate that view for example if i were to go if i can <coughs> i believe it and i open it up nope so what I have to do is I believe that come on here Option, import custom view click on this okay no oh it's it's already here so but if I were to go and send it to another machine I could import it and check so you can see it's only showing the audit but there is option to further narrow it down and um, find just for example just the login attempts or fail logins all that all right let's submit it i hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one and I fail actually for some reason let's go back to the activity so the only explanation they have given is just one line and they are saying is special options showing where users only see the warning that in trust users basically what they're saying is that if an admin wants a certain kind of information they can create the custom view and just look at that now export custom view and i have uc underscore view uc unless I was supposed to save it somewhere else <clears throat> can I submit it again all right I'm gonna not gonna bore you with the uh, submitting I'm gonna just wrap it see you in the next one